Hey witches. So I wanted to make this. It just popped up and caught my eye because it, I was reading through it and it was talking about mindset and that's something really important that you need to have. So I thought I could share this spell with you. You know, I love spells eight and also kind of throw in my little tidbits along the way as I like to do. So for this, if you choose to use the ingredients, because by now, if you've been listening to what I've been telling you, you don't need those tools, but we love to use them. So if you want to gather your stuff, get some rosemary, a white candle, a green candle, a yellow candle, cinnamon incense, paper, and pen. And so it's called Rosemary Wash. A Wiccan Bath and Spell for Career Success. So this is to start on a weekday night. Wednesdays and Fridays are good. You would want to do this during a waxing moon or a full moon. Or since it is a new job, like if you're wanting to start somewhere completely new, you might start on the actual new moon, the first day after the dark moon. Start on that day or start on the dark moon. Because then your, your moon is starting to wax and it's a perfect time to do that and it also signifies a new beginning but if you are just gung-ho do it on the full moon or do it for the days that it says to do it and then the full moon time it as you would like so Wednesdays and Fridays are good but you, this is you might want to wait till the weekend because if you're at work all week, you know, but you know, we know that one of the main reasons that we time our spells the way we do is because it helps us focus and we can kind of piggyback off those energies that are already kind of lined up for us. So it does help. It does. So why does this work? This is what I wanted to talk about. I'm going to read what it says and I'm going to talk about it for a second. So I'll also post the link and you can click on the links of the Candle Magic 101 if you still need any info about candles, which you shouldn't by now. But if you do, check it out. And then the uses of rosemary, you can use it for so much stuff. And it's also good to get it in the bodies of your family. So I try to add it whenever I can, not to say that all of my food tastes like rosemary. But if I find an opportunity where, okay, this is going to be good with some rosemary added, I'll add it in there or even plan, you know, to, to season whatever I'm making with that and then get it in the bodies of my daughter and my husband because it is, is, is wonderful to use. Basil as well. So the uses of rosemary and green witchcraft are plenty, tons of uses. Taking a spiritual cleansing bath with rosemary relieves fatigue and is a cleansing tonic for the skin. It can help get in the right mood and mindset for any spell work or task. The second part of this Wiccan ritual is a chant with the green and yellow candles. Use it to get a job for success in an interview or good luck in your current work. If you want to know more about candle meanings, check out that link. So mindset why is your mindset important when you're trying to attract anything whether you're doing it with your eyes closed visualizing it happening and that's all you're doing which is just fine that's what a spell boils down to and also if you're just in a crappy mindset you're coming from a place of lack and you feel poor and you're crying and you're begging the gods and begging the goddesses and you know <laughs> begging spirit for things is not the way it works you declare it you claim it but being in that mindset is important not only before the spell work that's why we meditate first and then during the spell work usually it's there like you know we're able to focus on what we want to focus on but that lack still might be somewhere in the back of your head and it's going to block whatever you're trying to attract or mess it up that's why i always recommend you guys do shadow work and gratitude journaling because those those two things can help you 
the shadow work to get rid of all this crap you don't need in your head. Because most of it's tied to bull crap memories and the way your brain interpreted the memories. And now you feel a certain way and your life is messed up because of it. And you didn't even do anything wrong. Okay, so change that mindset. You're abundant. I want you to take take a second and glance around the room and find 10 things you're grateful for. Okay, and hopefully you counted the fact that you're able to hear this video. If you're looking, you're able to see this video. Those two things right there. You're alive. Those are three things. My cat's in my lap. There's another thing. My TV's right here. and You could just go on and on and on. I'm not hungry. I was able to have a shower today, actually, too. You know, I had a car, got groceries. You, you, can, you can rattle off probably a hundred things you're thankful for right now. Focus on that instead of what you don't have. You don't have $50 million yet. Well, you want it. You've cemented it. You're taking action towards it. And you're living as if it's already happened to you. And that's your millionaire mindset. That money has no other choice than to find its way to you. Yes, you will have to take steps in the mundane world, but you will be guided, and these, these opportunities will present themselves depending on, you know, whatever you're visualizing. If you're not visualizing any specific way, then the universe will start giving you opportunities. Talk with your higher self. Decide if they're the right opportunities to take. Also, do your mundane research before you go making any big deals. But if you are trying to switch jobs, your mindset is also important because you don't want to be in a state of lack when you're doing anything related to your job, especially if you already have one because you might lose it for some reason. And if you're trying to manifest a new one through the spell and it works properly, what's going to happen to your old job anyway? So you're probably going to lose it anyway once you start messing around with this. So, unless you're wanting a promotion at that same place. So be careful and have a plan, have a vision before you even start messing with this stuff. Because when you do, the universe is going to start taking those obstacles down that are in your way. Because if it doesn't, then it can't deliver what you really want, what you're desiring. So... You have to just trust. And that part can be difficult. And that's when we encounter a lot of those tower moment moments. But that's why I always tell you. Whenever I'm doing a tarot reading for you. And that pops up. That it is a blessing in disguise. No matter how shitty it is. Look at it that way. Because it was put there for a reason. And some of the stuff we go through on this earth. Is just absolutely horrible. You have to trust. You have to find some kind of silver lining. Something. Something. If that person is is gone and dead and, and buried or cremated or whatever and they're gone, you can't bring them back. And crying about them and feeling depressed every day is not going to help. It's going to make you worse. So finding the silver lining in that is, well, they're finally at peace. Whether that means that they are a spirit for the time being, getting ready to reincarnate, or they have already reincarnated, and they're starting a new path, and life goes on, right? So, that's coming from someone who lost both parents by the age of 40, okay? So, you, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Let's get back to jobs. <laughs> This stuff is just on my mind so much lately, and I want to help other people through this stuff because it can be soul crushing. It not it can it it's not that it can be it is heartbreaking, soul crushing, terrible. So they say the difficulty of the spell is easy, but is it easy to change your total mindset? No, it's not. So if you're going to be really applying yourself and living in that millionaire mindset. This is not going to be just easy. It'll be fun because it's fun to live that way. It is. It's fun to wake up that way knowing you've got this 
even though it's not in front of your face yet, knowing it's there and living in that energy for the whole day. If something takes you takes you away from it, come right back, back into it as soon as you can. And stay happy. Stay optimistic. Stay positive. All right. So it says, take a cleansing bath and cast this candle spell with a chant to get the job you're waiting for. It can boost your career with rosemary magic spelled the wrong way <laughs> and confidence. So this tells you what you will need. And then as you get them, you can check them off like this. Anyway. So, and you can always substitute if all you have is a white candle or three white candles. Fine. You could even substitute the gold for the green or maybe even the gold for the yellow. So, you're going to crush the rosemary leaves and set them aside. Boil five cups of water. So basically you're going to make rosemary tea. And then, after you've taken a bath and you're nice and clean, you're going to pour the infusion on your body. Not on your hair, but just on your body. Okay? And you're still in the tub, but you're clean. And you're pouring that on you. Okay? And I see an adjustment that I would make on this already. So what I would do first, take my bath, enjoy my bath, add salt to it. Definitely add salt to it. Have my rosemary tea waiting. And don't use it while it's boiling hot. Ow. Test it first. Add some cold water to it. Whatever you need to do. Because trust me, I do this all the time. And it is not good if you do not check. I've There's been a couple times that I figured it would cool down. And it did not cool in time. And it was not fun. <laughs> so, once you've done your bath and you're all clean... And you've had your salt water bath. It's so important to add salt to your baths. Especially if you've been around a bunch of people all day. Or you're feeling ick. So. After you've rinsed off in the shower. After your bath. So if we go from the bath. Straight to the shower. And then rinse off. Rinse the soap or whatever else off of you. And then turn the water off. Turn the water off. Because you don't want to rinse off the rosemary. And then pour that on your skin. Pour it around on your back and then all down the front of you. You know, pour some. If, it, if you see something not getting on certain parts of your body, aim it toward there. And then you're going to have little pieces of rosemary stuck to you, okay? So if it's so uncomfortable that you can't stand it being there, turn the water back on for just a second and just rinse off a tiny bit. Do not stand there and rinse it all off because then what was the point, okay? You could also pour it in the bath with you and just soak in it. But if you have to rinse some of it off from the shower, don't rinse it off. Just a real quick, maybe five second rinse. And then towel off and whatever little pieces will eventually fall off. But you want to leave some of it on you. You want the energy of that infusion to stay with you. It's, it's an important part of the working. So, that's my suggestion. You can do whatever you feel called to do. So, then this says take a shower, put on some comfortable clothes. We just talked about that, okay? Yeah, they're washing all the rosemary off. I don't understand why she did it like this. So, anyway. Now, you're going to put on some comfy clothes. And then go to your altar. So, you can work or wherever you're going to work on the paper using black I don't know why black is so important but it says black write down what you want to attract to your career or what things you would like to improve in the workplace be specific and very detailed doesn't matter how many words just be realistic and don't downplay your desires or expectations if you want to get a new career making five times what you make and you've got the degree for it, and you know you qualify for it, what is stopping you from applying for it? So maybe you don't have the experience. That's where magic comes in, and manifesting comes in to help align you with that. All right, so arrange the three candles and a stick of cinnamon incense in a circle on your altar. Place the paper with your 
partition within the circle and light the candles and incense stick. Breathe in deeply three times. Relax and focus on your feelings again. Read your petition as you do this. Visualize how this will manifest. Fill yourself with feelings of satisfaction and power. And what I will add to that is keep those feelings with you as long as you can. Day to day to day to week to week to week to month to month to month. And hopefully it won't be year to year to year if you're doing it right, okay? A few months and it should, it should be fine by then. So keep that feeling. Meditate on this for about five minutes, leaving all worries aside. And you want to continue to do this number eight, that part, while you're in that positive mindset, okay? Leave all worries aside. Don't worry about things, especially if they're related to your manifestation, okay? No, no. It's going to block. It's going to mess it up. It's going to attract more worry, more things to worry about. Don't do that. So then there is a little prayer that you can say. I would not, personally, I would not do this prayer. I would do some sort of out loud statement that I now work here and do this and make this much and do it as a declaration and claim it instead. But if you wanted, these are always pretty. It says, Oh Goddess Mother, you are alive, you are my guide. In your name, I ask that good luck and fortune come to me. Accompany me every day in my work and my career. So mode it be. So you can say that. Or you can just come up with, with a couple of affirmations or, you know, past tense statements. And then say at the end, you know, um, I claim it and so it is mine. Therefore, it is done. So mode it be. Whatever you want to do. You can always switch those up. And then snuff out the candles and repeat the spell every seven days. Or every night for seven days, okay? On the last night, let the candles burn completely and then burn everything together. Alright? And then since you are trying to bring something to you, I would take whatever's left and bury it in my backyard, under the moonlight, under my favorite tree. Not directly under it, but you know what I mean. So, one thing that I wanted to add that popped in my head was... Completely forgot. If you wanted to, and you didn't want to burn your petition, you could bury your petition with the remnants of everything, or just the petition by itself. You could put it in your cauldron with some crystals and bury it. Whatever you want to do. Oh, I was going to talk about the planetary hours. So, since you can't do this spell, there aren't, you know, seven of the same day in a row. You can time these to where, since you're trying to bring something to you, and it's related to success, you can do this during the planetary hour of Jupiter or the planetary hour of the sun. That's up to you. And you can get the app. It's just called Planetary Hours. Type it in the app store and it's free. So that is the little spell and I hope it helps. But mostly I hope that what I said to you about your mindset helps the most. Because you can apply that to any spell any manifestation, any situation. It can make you happier. It can cure mental illness. It can save your life from having a heart attack in 20 years. It's just important. So please do that, and I will bring... I'll come back with a video on some just mundane-ass mental health tips that deal with mindset, too, tomorrow to help you out, and I'll link that video below. Blessed be...